I'd like to say a little bit about what the wavelength for a traveling wave is. If we imagine a sinusoidal traveling wave that looks like this at some particular time, then let's imagine ourselves not being a life buoy out in the water watching this thing come at us, but rather someone standing on the beach watching this wave go by. We can, want, we can try to observe the same series of events. Well, let's suppose at some snapshot in time, let's say zero seconds, we take a picture of the passing wave. We would see the, a, a picture much like the curve that we just saw up above here. We see crests and troughs. We have the ability to see the entire wave, at least for that one snapshot in time. We would see a sinusoid, which is y of x and zero, equal to a times sine of kx, or a sine 2 pi x over lambda, because I substituted in for what k is. And we would see that there's a one full cycle of this wave developing for every uh, lambda meters along the, the length of the wave. I can plot that arrow right here, or I can move it from here to here. doesn't matter. All of those things describe one full wavelength of the wave. So the lambda, the wavelength, describes the cycle over which, in, in length, over which the wave has repeated itself. In the x direction, it's an expression of how periodic is the wave.